not even lying when I tell you that I have this scarf on because I spilled soup on my shirt and I'm too lazy to change my shirt. Hi, I'm Wendy Valencia, and if you are new to my channel, my husband Mauricio, my daughter Melina, who's six, and I are on a journey to pay off more than $300,000 worth of debt in some time that will end. <laughs> So if you would like to follow along with us every month, we go over our initial budget and then we go over our budget to see how we did. And today that's what we're doing. So let's jump on in. Our first category as always is our utilities category. And in our utilities category, we paid $193.19 for our cell phones and $270 for our storage unit and you know, I thingy storage unit it's a thing people ask in our transportation category we only spend 34 37 on gas which is pretty awesome I'm a huge fan of the electric vehicle or the electric gas hybrid vehicle it's electric for the first 20 miles and then moves on to gas after that and so we spend very little every month in gas depending on where we have to go every month and in the molina category we have 590 dollars for before and after care we spent 40 dollars on molina's school bucks school bucks is her lunches at school we let her buy lunch once a week and then she frequently will buy breakfast if she's hungry during sack we spent $40.25 out of the $200 we had allotted for Melina for summer clothes. We spent $138 for swim team registration, $35 for vacation Bible school, which is a camp that Melina will go to, and then $130 for her American Girl doll camp that she's going to. And I always get asked why we would put our daughter in camp during this debt-free process and for us camp is like almost daycare both Mauricio and I work and although we do live with my parents asking them to take care of my daughter for the whole summer is a little too much in my opinion so we put her in camp and it gives her a chance to be out and so that is the last little bit of summer camp payments that we have to deal with. In our insurance and tax category, we had our USAA insurance, which is car insurance and renter's insurance. For $176.56, we had our CMFG insurance for $12.00. Our USAA life insurance for $91.65. And Mauricio's life insurance for $35.83. And as you can see, the USAA insurances are zero because those do not cross our every dollar. They go directly from my paycheck to be paid. So we don't have those going through every dollar. So, but I like to keep track of them. In the Mauricio and Wendy category, Mauricio had nothing and I had $75 for shoe repair. I had gotten three pairs of shoes repaired, new heels put on, and I legitimately wasn't terribly impressed with the place that I got them done. So I probably will not be going there again, but I will, you know, they'll survive for a while. And in our cash category, I did a whole video on that, which I will link up in the eye in the sky. It was $605 this month because we did not put anything to dry cleaning because I just had a huge dry cleaning bill last month. So I did not put anything there. And in recurring and annual expenses, we had $30.97 for iTunes, $44.95 for Weight Watchers, $14.95 for Audible, $25 for Skype, which actually came through this month, and $3.99 for Amazon Music. And in my YouTube category, we had a lot more than normal. We had $4.50 for TubeBuddy, $5 for Backblaze, $12.43 for Morning Fame, $19.95 for a YouTube group. I had $74.73 for Minted for those mailers that I made and $105.99 for a new external hard drive. The bonus about the YouTube category is because I have a YouTube channel and I generate an income, albeit a teeny, teeny, tiny one, I can actually write off all of these things on my taxes, at least for a couple more years. 
And in our medical category, the category that surprises me every month, we had a $53 bill to an oral surgeon for Mauricio. He is getting to the point where he needs to get his wisdom teeth removed. He should have done it years ago, but he hasn't. And so the dentist we have now wants him to get them removed. So he went to the oral surgeon and the surgeon actually told him that he only needs to remove two of the four, which is awesome, but we need to get it done. And then Melina the other morning, oh my goodness, it was so random. She woke up and she had like this gigantic ear and it was bright red and she said it hurt and I was sure it was swimmer's ear. I was like, Ugh. so we took her to the doctor and as it turns out, she got stung by something behind her ear and she was having an allergic reaction to it. So poor babes gave her some Benadryl and she was much, much better. And that appointment cost us $54.70. We have an expensive pediatrician. And then we had another appointment for Melina for $49.53. Melina had this cold and it just wasn't getting any better. And she was on this cycle where like every two weeks she was getting sick and having to go in on antibiotics. So we decided to go ahead and have her checked out and it was just a cold, which is fine. And, but she sounds, she still sounds horrible. She wakes up with this cough that's like, oh, it's horrible, but just a cold. So, and in our work expenses category, we had $11 for parking for Mauricio and $21 for parking for me. I had to go to my headquarters several times and they're doing major construction. And so I wasn't able to use the office parking garage. So I had to pay for parking. So, and in our sinking funds, you are going to see some craziness going on. Apparently one of the videos I did for um, evaluating Capital One 360 is ranking on Google. So I'm having people, a lot of people watch that video and actually going ahead and getting Capital One 360 accounts. So I've gotten several hundred dollars in referral bonuses. So rather than transfer it back to my normal budget, I'm just putting it in sinking funds. You know, the sooner those get filled up, the, the sooner I can stop paying to them. So the sinking funds, we had our $150 for medical. We put 140 in the car repair replace fund instead of our normal 100. Christmas was 100. The emergency trip to Columbia was 100. Melina's miscellaneous school expenses is now was $65. Summer camp for next year is 180. And then the work travel expenses, I went ahead and put the additional $100 in for $200 to finish that all out. And then we also put an additional $100 in our anniversary fund. So that will be stopping in July. We won't be putting any more money to the anniversary fund. Mauricio and I are having our 10th wedding anniversary this year. And so we wanted to fund about $1,200 for a trip. And we, we finally have figured out what we're going to do. It's going to be so much fun. We're going glamping. I know. Mauricio really wanted to go to this, uh, wanted to do something woodsy, which is fortunate because we got married on July 3rd and trying to find a place at the beach is impossible on the week of 4th of July. So we are going glamping for two nights and it should be fun. We found this really, really cute place and I'll, after we do it, I'll probably, you know, show you some pictures or do a video or something so you can see but it was i we we're super excited it's just something different get out do something cool and then in our online expenses i did not do a video this month because there legit wasn't a huge amount of stuff coming in but some of the stuff that i got i did spend 2102 at sephora i actually spent a lot more than that but i had gotten a gift card for my birthday thank you to my lovely sister-in-law and her husband and so I was able to buy a lot of the makeup that I need. And I went a little bit over because I bought an eyeliner. So I spent $2,102. And then we spent $13.77 for new goggles for Millie. It's the beginning of swimming season. And she's going to be swimming every day and needs goggles. So I love, love, love the Speedo goggles for kids. They're the perfect size and fit for Melina. And they work out fantastically. Then Mauricio and I one night rented The Commuter, which was a decent movie. I mean, it wasn't going to win any awards, but it entertained us for a couple hours. And that was fun. It was just nice to watch a movie. We don't have a lot of free time. So when we get to do stuff like that, it's super fun. 
And then, oh my goodness, I have to tell you. So my umbrella died and I had to buy a replacement umbrella. And I found the most amazing umbrella. So one of the things I absolutely hate about umbrellas is when you drive and you take your umbrella down and then you have to drag it across you to put it in the passenger side or you have to put it in the car behind you and then you have to get in the car and you get wet. And my hair gets super frizzy when it gets wet. And a friend recommended this umbrella for me and it is the coolest thing ever. So when you unfold it, it actually folds downward and all the water goes to the inside of the umbrella and it keeps the the outside is dry so when you carry it across you in the car you don't get wet it's amazing so i love this umbrella unfortunately my umbrella died when we were having those horrible storms and so i didn't get it i haven't gotten to use it a lot but i think it's gonna be amazing and in our category that shall not be named we have seven dollars and 62 cents for taco bell 2507 at whole foods because i'm an evil wife and i made my husband go buy things like tempeh and freakia and andouille sausage and and he's like what i don't know what any of these things are but yeah we ran over grocery budget a lot this month because i am cooking all the meals now and so i do my grocery shopping the weekend before and then I do a full meal prep for the whole week and I really need to up the grocery budget but just haven't done it. We spent $22.78 for McDonald's, $97.53 at the grocery store. Marisi has spent $12.15 to eat out at a conference and then another $9.26 because he forgot his lunch. I think it was a scam. He just wanted to eat out because the cafeteria in the building he works in has an amazing salad. And then finally, I did a whole video on how much debt we paid off this month. We paid off $9,147.19. I was super pleased with the amount we put to debt this month. It's not going to be that much next month, but you know, take it where we can get it. It was a killer month and... I am so happy about the amount of debt we have paid off so far. We're legit like inches away from being halfway. And while this process has been long and painful, it is also going to be amazing when we are finally, finally, finally done. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.